blasted armor. I took care of the trolls. You did? Great! Good work! What about the reward? Ah, yes. Of course. Here, take that. I brew these myself. But now I best get to it, shouldn't All right. Stay safe. I will. Trust me. Well then, I think this should be it. A chunk of rocks. At the risk of blowing your mind, the most prominent feature of a hidden entrance usually is that it's hidden. We just need to find a way to open it. <clears throat> All right, let's try this. Zaraniege Yanor! Brace yourselves. Maybe you mispronounced the words. Look, there might be a great many things you can do that I can't, but reading a text from a piece of paper isn't among them. I'm not stupid. Well, but you did say you're not exactly an expert on shaper language. Let us have a try. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Go ahead. Xaren Nigei Yandor. You did it. <laughs> Boy, Nihal, you did it? We opened the door to the lost city! Huh, impressive. Yes, impressive. For millennia, no one has ever opened that door. A shapeshifter. I am guessing you're here to avenge your brethren? No. I'm simply intrigued by what you just did. To build an army from pitchfork-wielding villagers, and destroy the cowl of an orc tribe is one thing. But to open that door, that's an entirely different story. Look, I know this might sound odd from orc to human, but I might need someone with your skills. So, if you're interested, meet me at the foot of Barger Gore. I think we could help each other. Hang on. Why would you want to help me after I killed your brethren? They weren't my brethren. These orcs you killed were Ash Reavers. I'm a fire wielder. And they had it coming to them. Invading human territory was just foolish. I have no sympathy for them. Either way, consider my offer. Well, that was strange. We'll think on this later. Think on this? So you're actually considering his offer? Maybe. The mayor wasn't so wrong about the fact that we might need allies. Now let's go in, shall we? Sure. Lead the way.
Yes? What do we need? Though your legs ache and your stomach burns with hunger, you cannot help but feel a vague sense of anticipation as you descend into the black tunnels. For the first time in a very long time, you feel as if you have direction, purpose. You're pulled from your thoughts as you see shadows dancing on the walls up ahead in the tunnel. Ugh. Is it just me or does it smell rotten in here? I'm afraid you're right. Even though the more pressing question should be, why are there lit candles in a place that hasn't been open for millennia? But you're certain this is the path to Mullendir? Absolutely. Something lives down here. The only question is, what? I guess we'll find out. Hmm. Blazes was that? I wouldn't Run. know. By the... Ugh, I suppose we found the source of that smell. Indeed. But who or what in the world did this? Sure. This way, right? Strange creatures, but may... Am I the only one who just saw that? I'm afraid not. It must have been another goblin. Yeah, and a pretty damn big one. Good. We best get some cover now. Let's see if this works. Ha! 
I smell fresh meat. Huh? Eat you! I will eat you! It's over. Now would you look at that? Uh, all right, why not? This way, right? Interesting. Strange markings on the wood. Huh, interesting. Don't think we can open it without a key, though. Probably not, no. Go away! Go away! Danger up ahead! No, 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 stop! What is the meaning of this? Why are you killing God King Scions? You. Ugh. You smell unclean. Filthy. Strange creatures you are. Where I come from? Who are? Do you live down here? Down here? God King does not understand. There is only here. Here in the dark beyond. The dark beyond? Yes! Big city. Dark and cold. City of old gods. E Wait a moment. You and your people... Of course! Where else would God King's people... Huh. His ancestors must have found a secret entrance into these caves centuries ago. That's the only logical explanation. Hmm. All right, time to tell us what in the blazes happened here. Why are there goblin corpses everywhere? God King will explain. God King, God King is good person, protects people from the great evil in dark beyond. Flesh is power. Raw and strong. Wait a moment. Did you just- To protect! To protect from dark beyond! God King has to. So, what do you protect your people from, Mon- From horror! From pain! But strange flesh people would not understand- Seen what? Horrors! Unspeakable evil! Mist and fangs and dark- And only power can drive it back. Hmm. Huh. Maybe he's talking about a spectral abomination, a kind of ghost. I've read about these in some writings on shape. Or maybe he's just plain bonkers. I guess we won't be around. What's a bonkers? God King does not like to be talked about! What is this power you were talking about? Magic! Old magic. Learned from great, great, great- Hmm. He might be talking about a primitive- And it requires him to eat his people to- Who knows? We all know how fond these pre- This is gruesome. Gruesome? Strange flesh men didn't listen, did they? If God King did- Ugh! Strange flesh men disrespectful! We can't. We are here to find the lost city, Mullendir. The dark beyond, as you- But... You will die- We don't have much of a choice. Can you help us get past this gate? I... Uh... God King does not like. But God King understands. Yes, he will help. But you will help God King first. What do you want? It's simple. Group of treacherous scions tried to steal my throne. 
You kill Scions for God King. Bring him their flesh as proof. God King shows you way through door. Understood? God King will be here. Interesting that they speak our tongue, though. At one point or another, they must have had contact with the outside world. Now would you look at that? Places. What is that thing? Looks like a golem to me. Maybe the Shapers created it. Huh. Let's see. Speak the words. Is that my imagination, or did that thing- I'm afraid- You speak the words. Are you certain this is a good idea? This thing looks rather robust. goes. Shame. I wish I'd had the chance to study it further. You'll get over it. Sure. Sure. You got it. Nihal's hammer. This is beautiful. I won't argue with that.
that way? <laughs> Blasted armor. Cra right. God King too strong. God King too cruel. He took mother. He took son. God King will eat, eat, eat until we all dead. No. No, no, no. You not understand. God King need flesh, so God King can use power. And only pop. Interesting. I think that was it. The rebels are dead. They didn't look much like rebels to me. They were terrified. I agree, but they didn't leave us much of a choice. We should head back to the God King. Yeah, sure. I think I found your rebels. You did? Um, sure. Yes, yes. Strange flesh people speak truth. It's them. You honest. You loyal. God King will answer. So? To protect. What do you protect your- From horror, from- Seen what? Horrors and on- hmm. What's up? This is gruesome. Do you live- Down here? God King does not understand. I think we'll be off. Uh -huh. Feel that? Wind. We're getting close to the exit. Many tales have been told about Mulandir, the lost city of the Shapers. While some scholars go so far as to doubt its very existence, others claim that it was a utopia an unconquerable city in a valley of never-ending summer. However, they all agree on one thing. Whoever finds it will go down in history. By me, Half. We've... we found it. I agree. Now where can we find clues about the blood... Huh? Did you... I said, where should we start searching for clues? Ah, uh, uh, the song. Yes, of course. Do you think we could rest for a moment first, though? I'd like to take some sketches of this place. Well, how about we go back to Everlight to get some charcoal first? It's not as if we're in a hurry. <laughs> You're mean. <sighs> All right. I guess you have a point. The only problem is, deciphering the shape or tongue isn't an easy task. We can't just walk in here and expect- Then what do you suggest? I... <clears throat> I assume the Nexus would be the best place to start. The heart of the city. The Nexus? Long story. In short, it's every Shaper City's core. It's where they drew the energy for their construction. Alright then, let's go. 
Yes. Got it. Do you see that? Can you hear us? Uh, I'm sorry, but we don't understand. We Kwaslan. Za um Zaladar Punara Yuganza. Zawayetu Kwanla. Zanju Domyan Kesnai. Zanladar? Fascinating. You speak their tongue? A bit. I've never used it in an actual conversation, though. I still can't believe this is happening. We're, we're talking to a living shaper. So you think this is actually- It's not a spirit, Tahar. This man, he's neither dead, nor undead, nor alive. It's almost something like an ethereal- Not enough for him to die, yet not enough for him to be truly alive. How long has he been like that? No. But the signature of this magic that's surrounding him is unlike anything- That's fascinating. Well, not what I'd call- So, what did he say? I- I don't think he was talking to us. He's not even entirely- Interesting. Hmm. Well, he doesn't seem a threat. I suggest we keep on exploring first, and maybe come back to him later. There's not much we- Feels strange to do that, but I guess you're right. We need to find that Nexus first. Lead the way, Tahar. Hmm. That's the way? Understood. Now would you look at that? Uh, another oh. ghost. Hmm. What's next? Undead. Lots of them. How did they get here? They could be shapers, couldn't they? Or Hibernians. Only because nobody in our era discovered Mullendir doesn't mean they didn't. Remember that mage in the caves? Whatever's necessary. Mm hmm You got it. There, another ghost. Yes? Hmm, this one doesn't seem to speak at all.
Fair enough. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's see. Sure. Sure. Baron. Interesting. So Mullendir's watering system didn't extend all the way up to here. Or parts of it broke over the centuries. That it's remained functional until now is already a phenomenon as it is. <sighs> Tiara's breath. What? What was that thing? <sighs> no idea. But it fit the description of that great evil the God King was talking about, didn't it? You're right. Huh. If this creature came to visit the goblins every once in a while, I can understand why they were scared. What else can want? Interesting. Sounds like a plan. This way, right? You see that overgrown seems to be protected by some kind excellent question. The ghost. He might know worth a try, I suppose. Let's head back. 
Just give the word. Let's see. Understood. All right. you look at that so Iskrim how long have you been doing this doing what digging up bones dusting off trinkets I honestly always thought archaeology was just a hobby for the nobles with too much money Well, it is, in a way. And I'd have to lie to you if I told you my life's been particularly easy. Especially during the Mage Wars. Yeah, I guess. Did you ever think of going elsewhere? Kalea, maybe? Finn and Mir? Why did you even leave Windwall? That's a long story. And regarding your first question, yeah, I have thought about that. Kalea, especially. Marvelous place for scholars. But then Rondar Lacan came along and offered me this opportunity. Makes sense. Interesting. Punar. Well then? Yes. <clears throat> Vorzan Devlar. What? Van Drax. Vorzan uh, Devlar. Punara Yuganza. Zawa Yetu Khan. Oh. So? It's complicated, but I think I understand now. He's part of a defense mechanism, so to speak. His soul is by. I think he wants to be freed. If he's here to protect... Good question. Maybe the magic that controls him got weak... Does he know how the Shapers died? I asked him that, but he didn't react. It's sad. There's the source of Shaper knowledge... Source of knowledge? That's a per... I do. Doesn't make his existence less phenomenal. Hmm. And if we free him... Well, the problem is, he's not alone. There are still three more of his kind here in Mullen. Then we need to find them all. Well, that's the thing. I might have misunderstood, but 
blazes, this is so ironic. Well, if we want to enter the... No I know. It's what they want. I'm sorry. Zalam Khan! Yes? What the? Something revived him! The Godstone! Imprint our rune on the Godstone! That might sever the connection. What's next? Let's see what he has on him. Huh, a shard. I... Wait. Tahar, that rune Lacan gave you, could you show it to me? Sure. Fascinating. They look alike. How is that possible? Good question. I suggest we take a closer look at it later in the Nexus. Now come. I'd like to get this pointless butchering over with as soon as possible. Let's see. See it, they also have a shard on them. Interesting. sold to save. Plan. 
I'll keep you shielded. Fine. Now would you look at that? Got it. <laughs> Blasted armor. <sighs> Did you hear that? Yes. Something shifted. Whatever's necessary. Amazing. Simply amazing. What? The city. Did you notice the vegetation is quite different from where we came from? Yes. And it's a lot warmer. Exactly. And it's these canals that are responsible for it. They channel the underground rivers, warm the waters up with their city's technology and, and lead them all the way through the city. This way, the Valley of Mullendir was and is always fertile. Eternal summer, so to speak. Hmm. That's interesting indeed. That way? You got it. This way, right? Will do.
Understood. Nihalf's hammer. Isn't this incredible? The buildings are almost still intact. Hard to believe nobody ever found this place before. Right in the middle of Iskander. Fair enough. Let's do this. Interesting. Let's see. Got it. Sounds like a plan. Sure. You got it.
Would you look at that? It worked. <sighs> I was half expecting the city to blow up in our faces. Now, wait. Do you hear that? Nihau's hammer. We should get moving. Get ready! Understood. Hmm. Nexus or not, there's definitely an impressive energy radiating from behind that door. Kind of unsettling, to be honest. So, Tahar, do you want to go in? Yes. Just stay wary. The stone doors fall shut behind you as you step through the overgrown arch and you are met by an almost eerie silence. Yet you immediately feel a presence, a power. Incredible. So, this is the Nexus? The upper levels. We'll need to go further down to find the heart. Come. What do we need? <laughs> 